Hey guys and welcome to a brand new video and today it's going to be on my computer that I'm currently on right now. It's going to be perfect computer for Minecraft, actually a bit overkill because it can do more than just Minecraft but it's what I use for that mainly because I don't game on here. I go on mostly PS4. So anyways, let's get started. Here's my part list. I'll show you um, uh, what I'll do, how it runs in Minecraft after this but let's, let's start off with this. So for the CPU, it's an Intel Core i5-4690K, and it's quad-core processor, if you don't know what that means, it means that it can work on four different things at once, so it's not limited to one thing, so while you're doing, like, from the internet, it could be, like, running other applications in the background as you're doing this. So, that's great. Um, it is a really good CPU, especially for its price. It is better than most i7s. If you think it's i5, it's not that good. It's actually, even most i5s are good, but this one can um, outrun most, um, or like two i7s. I'll show you the benchmark of it um, later in this video. Um, so, there's stuff about this. Um, it uh, uses 88 watts, so like that's pretty average. And um, I'll show you like with the power supply I have. Like it'll easily cover like all the parts. It's all compatible and stuff. Just don't worry about that. Um, it does have integrated graphics, but I highly suggest not using it. Even though it is HD and it's just pretty average, but I would use a graphics card for sure, especially with gaming. So that's the CPU. I have um, MSI Z97S motherboard. It's a crate edition, which means it just basically looks cooler and it comes with some other stuff with it other applications like a 3d viewing thing and some other stuff and also it has like a cool background it gives you and it just looks pretty dope like the cobra thing pretty standard it is a atx motherboard so that's the size of it um yeah, there it is it fix it fits good in the case i have and it has all the stuff you need really good motherboard and can go up to 32 gigabytes max memory. I currently have eight gigabytes of crucial ballistic support or sport, eight gigabyte RAM. There are two four gigabytes and it's DDR3. And that's really all I need for now. Maybe in, like if in the future, if I want more, I'll just get another set and have 16. But you really don't need more than 16 unless you're playing low AAA games and like the highest graphics, maybe even like 4K stuff like that. If you're doing lots of stuff at once and uh, application that has lots of stress on your CPU but okay and so my storage I have a Western Digital one terabyte hard drive it's just typical um, 7200 RPM and I would get a solid state drive on wait for the price to drop down then I might switch that out but for now it works just fine I boot up in 34 seconds so yeah and everything else it opens fine and my internet is actually decent even though I still need to get another um, portable router thing in my room. So there's that pretty standard. It's um really this uh this brand Western Digital is one of the best I think for hard drives. Um, there's some other ones that are like really cheap and like it was seriously to like break if you just like drop it like a foot off the ground. So which you never want to do anyways, but it's pretty good. So video card. Um, you could probably drop down on this. You don't need quite as good as a video card. Even though some people don't think it's that good, but it's pretty pretty amazing. So it has two gigabytes, um, and it is amazing. <laughs> I know I already said that, but like, it is quite big, but it'll fit in the case fine. And with the motherboard, everything's compatible. Don't worry about that. Um, it's a really good one. You could probably, um, yeah, drop it down, but yeah, that's about it for that. Um, yeah, it can run. Well, my computer, I'll show you in Minecraft, but. Actually, I'm not going to tell you right now, so you watch it, but no, I'll tell you. Um, I can run up to 2,000 frames per second with it and with shade, or you can also do shader, but that's just like playing with all the settings down to low, but that's the highest I can go. And with like shaders on and while recording in a good texture pack, a 64 pixel by 64, instead of the default 16, I have around 100 FPS. So, and it does pretty good, pretty moderate on like AAA games, like... Um, Call of Duty, Battlefield, all those games. So it can handle it. And same with the CPU. They both work good together. Okay, in my case, it's a standard case. I want to save money. 
um, has all the U has two U two uh, three point USB ports, and it also has microphone um, thing and your headphones, and um, it has let's see two slots for um, like uh, optical drive for like you no know, disk drive and stuff like that, and yeah, if um, it can fit pretty much whoops. You can fit pretty much any motherboard that you see here. I think that's all the. Oh, there's I think there's one other type, but this motherboard we have is ATX, and yeah, it's actually a pretty big case. It fits everything well, and also it has room for cable management, which I love. So my, it's really neat inside, and it fits everything well. It has like I think about six slots for like um, add-ons like hard drives and stuff. So that's great. Disk drives, not just hard drives. And power supply is pretty standard. It's 500 watts. Um, all these combined, if I can go to edit, it'll tell me 307 watts total. All these parts. So it has like, some extra. Like I guess you can drop down it, but I just want a good power supply. So it's yeah, it's pretty standard though. But this meant for ATX. So yeah. And I this is for my internet wireless network adapter. This is a great one, especially for its price. It's really good. It actually improves your Wi-Fi. So what you do, you um put it on, attach to the motherboard, the PCI slot, um, and then the port goes out to the case. So you like remove on the panel, just like installing your graphics card when you do it. I might do a video on building this computer. I might just rebuild it and record it for you guys. But and this part, just like it's a magnet, and it just goes on the outside of the computer. It fits fine. And it doesn't like stick out. It's um, you can move it so it goes straight up and you just pretty much plug it in and there it goes it works fine so and it's only 27 bucks if you don't have ethernet I mean wireless is great but because I'm not by my router and I can't be but so that's what I do for that otherwise I would recommend ethernet for sure though this monitor is a beast it's 23 inches for quite big I'm using it right now of course but when I got it it was like 180 almost 200 look how these prices are so high and this is Okay, twenty dollars million rebate, one thirty, one forty right now. And that's with a promo code. I think it just gives you on. I think this micro. I can't even read that micro somewhere. I don't know, but yeah, it's, the price dropped on this. Um, maybe it just like yesterday was Black Friday, so there might be deals out right now. But as I'm recording Saturday, so yeah, this is nineteen twenty by ten eighty resolution. Uh, it is 60 hertz and can run pretty much anything. It's LED and one millisecond or yeah response time. Two HDMI ports and a VGA. Also HDMI ports is the better one. That's what I use. So it's a great monitor. It's really easy to uh, put it together. Just like it's like a screw that you just move with your hands um, to put it on like it's stand and it's really easy. I'm like, you can move it around. I brought it to my friend's house back and put it together in like seconds. It's really easy. And this monitor, um, it has good brightness and stuff and I love it. So, and then this right here is one of the best deals ever is keyboard and mouse for only 20 bucks. And it's really good. It's, um, gaming too. So look, it has, it's a gaming mouse, uh, keyboard and mouse, LED backlight, and it comes USB. Well, it's plugged in as USB. All right, so yeah, I love this keyboard and mouse. It's only 20 bucks, which is awesome. Yes, it's not wireless; it is wired, but it looks amazing, and it's all it works great. So that's about all with that. So um, total is 836 dollars. Um, with the monitor and other stuff, right now there's a lot of stuff for on deals, but I got it for like 900 and something at the time when I bought these parts. So they definitely dropped down around Black Friday. So, I mean, these are all different websites for ordering them. Like, if I, if I go to buy, it would bring me to this. Is they select the lowest price and with deals and everything. A lot of it is free shipping off this website. Like, this is New Way, but like, if you go to this is the um, hard drive, this is on outlet PC, it's all different. But they come around the same time, and most of it's free shipping. You can arrange that how you like in different websites. So, if you go to it, it will tell you all the different merchandise, all different websites, the prices. It's um, promotions if there is any the shipping tax uh, some actually do have tax you know shows none and if it's in stock or not in the total so yeah uh, yeah here's a website if you guys don't know but I'll probably link this to my description if I remember 
If not, you can just look back to here in the video. And I call this the iridescent panther because it's green and black and that's pretty much it <laughs> and it's a beast so yeah um, I'll show you guys how it runs in minecraft so see you okay we are here in minecraft and right now I'm with shaders and the texture pack I'll show you right here it is minecraft HD texture pack 64 times 64 pixels and while recording and max out settings it is 65 frames per second which is normally higher I don't know what's up with that even on servers I hit like a hundred normally but it sucks that right now as I'm doing this is slower but I mean my computer has been on for like two days straight so it's a little stressed out but if you like look in the sky it goes up obviously but yeah maybe because I just open the world and it's a rendering new chunks also but yeah so there's that and if I I'll go to the lowest settings and see how high I can get my frames per second. I'm not gonna edit this. You guys can see what I'm doing. Um, so I'll bring it to tiny, fast, off for some of the lighting. Love all the way down. Low brightness. Um, there's that. I mean, yeah, I could have probably made it higher for about to like 120 would have gone up. And let's also turn off shaders. And then let's put the texture pack. To default, and then there's other optifine stuff I'll just leave alone. I think that's it. Yeah. All right. So now I am. I can go up to 1,941. I've reached 2,000 before. Like I said, my computer's stressed out at the moment, but like in the thousands. That's great. You never really need this high, so that's why you wouldn't really play like this, but... Yeah, if, if it is. 1,500, 1,600. This is, as I'm loading chunks of flying, but it's a little less blocks in the ocean, but... Yeah, so... Really good computer. Runs great in Minecraft. You can play pretty much any game you like at max setting, 60 FPS, and good quality. So, yeah. That's the end of the video. Besides, wait, hold on, I gotta do the benchmark. I'll show you guys the benchmark that I did for the CPU. If you're interested in that, stick around. Otherwise, see you guys later. Thanks for watching. Alright, so I am here at Cinebench R15. It's a benchmark that I'm using program. Um, I already run it before. I don't know why it's not telling me the detail. Oh, yeah, I got 613. And here's my CPU right here. And it beat out two i7s i know they're not the best i7s but like um the real good ones are at 800 and this uh, 613 and then there's the new intel cpu not the very newest but i think it is actually it's that 1200 which is really really awesome but um this is quad core i mean some of these others could be like let's see do they say single core holy crap yeah, these are mainly single core. That's weird. I mean, this one doesn't matter because it's one program, but it still has effect. So, um, if I run it now, you guys can see it's probably going to be lower. But 613 was the highest I think that I did. But you can see what it gets while recording. So yeah, I'll just let you guys watch this.
Okay, it has finished and definitely it has been stressed out. It shows it here. I had 613 and now I got under 500, 479. So that is proving my point as in I need to turn off my computer. But anyways, and I'm recording. I don't know if that's going to have that much of an effect. But I think I opened jail. And see, I don't know which I did last time, but I don't think it matters. So yeah, that definitely dropped it <laughs> below the other i7s. But yeah, so... Um, if you saw the, yeah, the four, uh, different boxes loading at a time, it's, that's saying this quad core is doing four things at a time, and that's what it is, but, okay, so, that's the benchmark, and that's everything I want to show you guys, so, thanks for watching the video, and see you next time.